Afternoon everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So we're back again with a bit of oxygen not included. And I thought what I wanted to do, because I've been reading a lot of people, what, the things people are struggling with the most seems to be specifically CO2 and just kind of dealing with the various gases and how to actually set everything up. Because it, it gets really simple once you've done it a few times, but if you're kind of new to the game and you're kind of getting a little overwhelmed in terms of how gas works, it, it's kind of a good idea to kind of just have a couple of pointers. Now, the biggest thing, if you look here, you see my base. So I'm on cycle 71 now, so I'm quite far in. I've got quite a, I like to think, solid little colony going on here. I pretty much got everything in here, actually, um, to the point of I'm kind of pushing the alpha in terms of what I can really do beyond just making a new base and making whatever uh, the monstrosity I've made here a little bit more efficient. However, as you can see, I've got basically very, very breathable oxygen here. Barely any with a few bits and pieces of the CO2. Same with the contaminated oxygen. So basically, the, the, what kind of helped me the most, you may notice that I've got my... Little, this used to be where I had a couple of algae terrariums. I've since replaced it with an air scrubber, and I've got a water purifier. But basically, the way carbon dioxide works is it sinks downwards, right? It'll always sink downwards. Now, what that means is, is that you can, if you're just, if you can be bothered, you could effectively deal with carbon dioxide by just building a giant ass pit and just keep digging down. That seems really stupid. Just seriously, you could, I could just keep. Going down, 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 down. <laughs> Indefinitely. Build a wall, put a ladder down it, because your, you know, your, um, your deeps can hold their breath to a, a surprisingly long time. Well, that's quite ugly. You probably noticed already, some, when I posted this on Reddit, people did comment that it's a bit cramped, but I like that. If you look at my, you know, my colony here, I like that crampness. Ignore my vents, by the way. They've got that stupid overpressuring glitch where even if I underpressure them, it never goes away. But... Yeah, so that little, what I went on up to, to do was I basically made my bottom floor effectively uninhabited, right? So when I was building my colony, I started and built this little floor here. And then I walled off, and I basically did exactly this shape here, but without the vent. So I just had a 2x2 a two two hole. The reason being, as you can see here, this is where my clean water goes, and this is where my contaminated wastewater goes from pretty much, well, you know, the air scrubbers. And what ends up happening is what you can see here is the air goes down, and then it naturally congregates. For some reason, it, it seems to be attracted to contaminated water. I don't know if that's, or it maybe just seems to go to the right. I'm not too sure. For whatever reason, it seems to kind of hang out here. And it's very dense as well. That's the great thing. It never, it barely comes out. What The reason why this is so clear is because any carbon dioxide to the point I could probably even turn this off actually. I don't I don't use it have it on constantly. I let it kind of so I disable that for a while. Um, and then I can just wait for the carbon dioxide to start flowing out. Save myself loads of electricity. I'm also not using any algae or anything anymore. <clears throat> and basically I have no issue whatsoever with carbon dioxide in any way, shape or form. And it's such a simple little technique to do. Because I, I, basically, I, I think, I re read on Reddit, especially people were mentioning, you know, it's like, it keeps kind of, you know, collecting at the corners of my base. And that's exactly what happens, basically. So what you want to do is, you can see, I've got gas permeable tiles, so it floats down. I don't have any here. I mean, realistically, I mean, to be, it doesn't really go to my farm so much. You can see a few bits, but they just kind of float around into the bathroom. It's very, very important with your bottom area here to have it as closed off as possible. So there's no way, it kind of, I mean, to us, I'm not, I, the, it collecting here was an accident, I didn't realize. Initially, I was intending to just keep it in this little pit here, but it just seems to have naturally congregated into my little pits here. And I've had no trouble, to the point where, when I first played this, the first few times, I was, I was always running out of algae really, really fast, like uber fast, because I was always having Algae terrariums and, you know, algae oxidize, deoxidize, what they're called, um, oxidizers, running constantly to just deal with the overwhelming, well, to produce oxygen, but also to deal with the CO2. And now what I do, as you can see right here, as I just kind of leave it, you can see it's starting to fill out there again. But because of the shape of this, and there are no vents 
leading down here, I basically just cut up this slow just falls down here, is that it just kind of collects to the point where, and it doesn't really matter how dense this, because of the fact that my dupes don't really have any reason to come down here, stress is really low as well, you can see, because my dupes have no reason to come down here, it means that I, I just have no problems. It's, oxygen's get a bit get a bit light over there in a few parts, not as dark as I would like. Still pretty solid though. So yeah, I hope you guys, I, I know it's kind of like a simple short video, but I just wanted to kind of give people an FYI on kind of how to deal with the actually a, a kind of an efficient setup. Some people um, on Reddit, when I've, I've posted before, have mentioned how they like to have really open bases, you know, where you're made to remove all the floors, just giant pits, and that has some merit, but, you know, my logic is, I would argue, actually, mine's more efficient in terms of oxidizing the whole colony, because obviously I have less space to fill. But also, I just, I like the way mine looks a little bit more, you know, it's this kind of actual organized rooms. It just kind of, I like to my challenge for me, as I've mentioned this on my Fallout videos as well, is I like to kind of balance aesthetics and efficiency because that's where the fun lies. Anyone could just make quite an ugly, um, inefficient base. Also, just what I to mention as well, if you see I've got a coal generator at the top. I can actually I can probably just turn that off as well. So what I've got and done is I put a coal generator on the top, effectively the roof of my colony here, and again, it just kind of fills out the area with quite dense carbon dioxide but it never really it, it kind of gets there and occasionally come in but not not very much of it and initially I just had an I had an algae terrarium there if needed but to be honest I just let it build up and I built an air scrubber which I just occasionally turn on as you can see it it seems to always for whatever reason kind of float to the right so I don't really have any issue with there we go see like that'll be fine and I'll just let this build up. And the the air scrubbers are incredibly efficient. Like I said, this was very, very dense. So yeah, anyway, that's just my little way of dealing with CO2. Um, I won't be making a contaminated oxygen video just yet, because to be utterly honest, it's not actually dangerous yet. We don't have diseases. But realistically, what I would do is, as you can see, it's already floating down there anyway, because it's only really made by the lavatory. So contaminated oxygen isn't really a problem, but maybe when they actually implement it, um, diseases in game, maybe just having that small little cloud of contaminated oxygen may be enough to kind of screw me over, in which case I'd probably have a pump just pumping it out of the bathroom. I will at one point show off my little wonderful oxygen produ production area, but that'll be for another video. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawn. We'll have a new video up tomorrow. I'm going to try and get more of these Oxygen Not Included videos up because I've been having quite a lot of fun with making shit very, very efficient and cool. And I'm also looking for the next updates as well. Anyway, you guys enjoy your week. And I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.